Welcome back to the Canatech podcast. We are back with Chuck Maines, uh, the leading, if not the only, le- the leading uh, industry lobbyist in uh, the state of Texas for the uh, the hemp and cannabis space, primarily hemp. How you doing, Chuck? Good, Harry. How are you doing? Good. Good. You shared with Good. me in rehearsal two interesting updates, uh, a poll from the University of Texas. What's going on there? Well, uh, the poll, which was released, I think a week ago, it just, it was one of the, one, one of the many that, that's just seen the increase. Um, but I believe it, I don't have the exact numbers in front of me, but it had a majority of registered voters in favor of expansion of medical slash, um, recreational, which is just, you know, just kind of more of a sign of the time of what's happening around the nation. Um. Yeah, you know, does it translate to actual action in, in the legislature to be seen? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I had some interesting talks the last uh, month or so um, about the state of Texas. I went to a conference, the Retail Solution Provider Association, a trade group of uh, technology professionals who do retail point of sale. So restaurants, movie theaters, and of course, dispensaries. And um, and, and that's a hot growth area for that crowd. And we, we had one attendee from uh, El Paso, Texas, a gentleman named Ross, who's kind of curious about the business. And he was telling me uh, about the cross-border traffic with uh, New Mexico right there. Um, and the Texans. And I said, yeah, I kind of saw that firsthand when I drove uh, up uh, some months ago to Crested Butte, Colorado for a little breather. And I went across, what is it? Uh, text line or state line? And Clayton, Raton. That's the yeah. Whole- yeah. Wow. And you cross the border and sure enough, there were dispensaries lined up in New Mexico. The I point saw- I'm making is at what point does that enter the political dynamic uh, that the the, well, the the dollars are going to other states. That's the thing is now every every surrounding state of, of Texas has some form of medical or recreational, and you know I mean it doesn't you know, look at the look at the conservative base of, of those states and you're still you're still seeing the same. So um, I mean it's a it, it is a it's a it's a big money loss that the state could be taking and once when they tap into it, I think they're going to be glad they did. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Hey, well, Lyndon, uh, you said uh, there, there was a very interesting lawsuit. um, Yeah. Yeah. So when, when the uh, original um, hip cleanup bill or the original bill to allow an industrial hemp, um, one of the one of the provisions was about um, manufacturing smokable hemp, and there was a lawsuit uh, that's been going for gosh, two years nearly. That just just finished, and they have determined for the time being that uh, Texas, you're not allowed to manufacture hemp in the state of Texas. Um, you can buy it and retailers can buy it from out of state and they can sell it in their stores or online, but they're not allowed to manufacture it, which is just kind of a weird deal. But uh, that, that, that has, is being appealed. So we should see what happens with that, but that's kind of the latest update in hemp hemp world. And other than that, we're just watching, watching kind of things get ready for session. This is, this is the time that, we're starting to, to ramp up for the upcoming session. So, okay, and and yeah, what uh, and does that start uh, in early January with yes, the uh, the results of the election? Okay, second Tuesday in January. So, we'll we'll have the election in in January. I mean, in November, and then there'll be a, a pretty much a lull, if you want to call it. Legislation will will be filed during that time, but. Um, Nothing, nothing will be done until legislature. The legislature starts on January uh, the second, the second Tuesday in January. Sure, sure, no problem. Hey, we'll check in with you next quarter. Thanks for being one of our rotating uh, analysts. Appreciate it, Chuck. Glad to talk to you, Harry. All right, take care. Bye.